Hey guys, it's Seth, and I'm here to show you some Borderlands 2 gameplay today, and I'm going to be using each of the five legendary shotguns in this game. Now, you may be wondering why I've... <laughs> actually, if you've used this, you won't be wondering why I marked this one as trash instead of a favorite. Um, so I think we'll just start with that one, fire like three shots, and then put it away forever, and never use it again, because it sucks. So, looking at it, it's a Torg shotgun, it's the Flacker. Uh, the damage is... Well, the damage looks really high. Um, big magazine size. It's got some like weird stats here. Consumes four ammo per shot, that's not really weird, but... Lots of fire rate and damage stuff here, but... So these are all level 61 versions. And I'm here in Lynchwood, and... I need to judge the distance on this. I'm sorry if I lag a little bit. Uh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> so, as you can see, it doesn't really shoot bullets. It just kind of like goes to a certain range and then explodes everywhere. I had one that had bonus crit damage, but I don't even know. So, now I'm going to switch to Sludge Shotgun. Um, I think next we'll use the Swiss Deliverance. Well, the Deliverance mine is the Swiss Deliverance. It's got slag and bonus melee. This Kiki got a shotgun is a reference to some old TV show with a pizza delivery guy named Kiki. So, Deliverance Kiki. Yeah. Uh, this one just says Flack the World. That's not a reference to anything, I don't think. I could be horribly wrong. Now the damage on this is actually quite low, and I really wish I had a B on me because this can be really good if you're using the B. Now it's a TD or, but it's a very special TD or because it will actually fly around and home in on people and shoot them. So that second over there was my uh, black hole shield. It's my favorite shield. Now, here... Ugh. My accuracy is horrible, but... Which is why I use shotguns. <laughs> so this shotgun really isn't good, as you can tell. But... Okay. This is the Striker. Now, it's got okay damage. Normally it's got a much smaller magazine size. This is the biggest magazine size on a striker I've seen. And sometimes it'll consume two ammo per shot. It has bonus crit damage. I have no idea what this means. Like if it's a reference to anything. Um, but its accuracy is what makes it good. You can see its accuracy is actually really good. I'm not gonna really use it though. Now the one most people will know, the conference call. Let's just ping everyone all at once. I don't think that's a reference to anything, it just goes with the name. So, the conference call looks like it has really low damage, and you can find it in different elements, obviously. Um, all the elements except explosive, if you even count that. Uh, this one also has melee damage. Mm hmm. Uh. Oh, crap. Now, I don't know if you could really see it, but I've got some weird skills, so I've got a slight fire rate. Actually, it's not really slight. I've got a fire rate bonus once I get to half my magazine left. God, I'm so good at shooting. <laughs> so you may have been able, able to see it, but if I shoot it here, all that damage and those different pieces, that's all coming from the front but two more beams come from the side. Which is why this shotgun does a lot of damage. I 
really another good conference call is the uh, critical conference call. That just has bonus crit damage, obviously. So now, the last one, Sledge's shotgun. If you played Borderlands one, one of the bosses was named Sledge, and he would drop this almost every time. But it was only like blue rarity, I think, maybe purple. Um, it's got good damage. It's a bandit. It's got large magazine size. Mine has even more. It always consumes two ammo per shot, and it always, if you play Borderlands 1, you'll remember this, it burst fires. Two shots. You have to reload a lot, that's for sure. Because every time you're clicking, it's using four ammo. Reload. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna die here, but you saw each of them, and now I'm gonna show you where to get each of them. Hey guys, I decided that I would start by showing you where to farm for the best shotgun in the game, well, legendary, and the worst legendary shotgun in the game. So, I'll just give a quick preview of each of them. Conference call always looks really cool. It doesn't even matter which one you get. And the flacker, which doesn't look that good. So you're going to want to kill the warrior. Now, the conference call is really good for this type of enemy, where they're really big, because these beams... See? I managed to kill that rack there's a really really good chance now he's mad at me really good chance that all of the bullets will hit the same guy because otherwise the conference call really isn't that good so like I can miss by a little and it's still effective Finish him off with the flacker. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Do your little death animation. Yeah, here we go. There we go. So, something you should know. If you do this during the mission, there's a really high chance that you'll get the, the uh, any legendary from him, but if you just do this afterward, the chance of him dropping a legendary, and he drops like 5, is 0.4%, which means that the chance of you getting a conference call is less than 0.1%. So you didn't even drop anything good. So, here's what you want to do. You want to be on the mission, the Talon of God, kill the warrior, get to the part where he's like lying down like that before his head explodes like that and then you'll get this and then the next objective is to press this button to call a moonshot beacon well a moonshot uh, blow up his head so that you know he's dead for sure what you want to do is then jump into the lava then quit your then quit your game don't like go to the desktop just exit then continue have a friend join you blow up his head, if he drops a legendary, then your friend picks it up, they save and quit, and you force quit. This means on PC you Alt F4, on Mac you uh, Command Q, and on Xbox you Dashboard, and I honestly don't know what to do on PC, or PS3. But I'm sure there's a way to quit your game without saving, so that it doesn't think that you've actually blown up his head. And you just repeat that and repeat it until you get a good, well, a good legendary. Or a bunch. So, that's how you get the conference call in the flacker. And I'll be back with the deliverance. See you guys then. Okay, so we're here in the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve to find the deliverance. Looks pretty cool. Now, you're going to want to find Tumba in this area. 
Now, there's actually a really low chance that he'll spawn, but he drops this almost every time you kill him. I've just only seen him once out of like the 40 times I've tried to see him, and I killed him once and I got this, so... It took me too long, but... Oh, sweet! We found him. Kill it! Okay, wow. Like, the second time I ever find him, and nope, he doesn't drop it, but... Well, he was there. Just, uh, I want the iridium that I don't even need. Yeah! Ah, leave me alone. So yeah, you may want to watch out. There's, um, <laughs> there's a lot of stalkers here. Easiest way to farm for him is if you have the natural selection annex. Just try to kill him, go in here then come out again, then you can save and quit, come back, and you'll spawn right outside here, you'll spawn right in this corner, and then you just come out, kill him again, try anyway, save and quit, and just keep doing that. That's the easiest way. That's also the best way to farm the pitchfork, or not the pitchfork, the skull smasher here. Son of Mothrax, so... Dodge. Dodge. Can't hit me! Oh, you can hit me. Okay. Well, I'll be back to show you the striker. Okay. So, we're here to find this. The striker. Uh, it's always got around 72% bonus crit. Uh, you know, looks pretty average for a Jacob's shotgun. Mine's got surprisingly high clip size. I really don't know why, but... Here's where you get it. Highlands Outwash, right here. You're going to want to kill Old Slappy. So you spawn back here, and you go through a bunch of stalkers here, and then some hot loaders here, and like two repair surveyors. Then you end up here, and you jump off this, and you get this mission from Hammerlock where you put an arm out there, and then you find Old Slappy. That's just as a little thing. You can't damage him yet. A striker's best from further away, so. Until a bunch of people try to shoot you. recoil on it is obviously quite terrible, but... Let's see if he dropped it. Nope. Oh, well. So... Finally. You get to see where to find... this. He okay. Doesn't. So... It's time. What you Borderlands 1 fans have been waiting for. Get to see where to get Sledge's shotgun. Now, Sledge's shotgun you actually get right here, but there's a few legendaries on the way you can get. So, I just wanted to show you. So, here's the Snow White Easter Egg. So, Snow White and her, er, Lanny White and her dwarves all have a chance to drop the legendary pistol, the Gub, which is just an overrated, er, not overrated, uh, it's just a bandit pistol with a really high clip. Stand still. Well, no luck.
Wait. <laughs> I'm already getting lost. So you just have to work your way through the rat maze. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I should be looking at the mini map more since I've already been through. Okay. So here's the area. And there is... There's a mission you get. Over here, you find a Goliath and kill him. And it's called Note to Self Person. So here's Smash Head. The way to awaken him is just open this chest. Normally there's nothing good in it. So I killed him once, and he actually dropped it, but unfortunately, that's- oh, sweet! <laughs> that's when my, uh, fraps decided to break, and it turns out I wasn't recording the entire time. But, we got extremely lucky, and I got another one. Where to go? There it is. So now I have three sledges shotguns. As you can see, here's the one that I got earlier, one, one of these two, I don't know. Both level 50s, it looks like. That's good. I don't know. I I personally think it's a really good shotgun. I do like the burst fire. The consuming two ammo per shot, I'm not so sure about that. but The burst is so quick, you really don't even notice it bursting. Let's play around with it a little more. I should save my ammo. Because here's where to get that third legendary. I just wanted to hold it off until the end because it's pretty fun. And I'm dang it, get out of the way. Well, turns out that took about five seconds. So right here. Get off. Get off. GTFO. This is actually an Easter egg, but this enemy drops a legendary pistol. You're gonna be my new meat! Rackman! I killed him too fast to, for you to see what he really does, but. You can drop a legendary pistol called the Gunnerang. You throw it, and it comes back to you and kills you in the face. And it hurts. So, if you like this video, found it helpful, please like, subscribe, you know, all that junk. And thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time.